how are ya? Welcome back to the channel for another vlog. It's 4 p.m. and I have been in bed right here all day. I see my foot. If you missed the last vlog, I injured my foot and it was my first time kind of hobbling around because I need to get packed because I'm leaving town early in the morning to go to Texas. So in this vlog, um, it's gonna be really special. I'm flying in obviously tomorrow afternoon, gonna have a birthday dinner with my family because it's a few days before my birthday. And then I'm a bridesmaid at my cousin's wedding. So of course, rehearsal dinner, wedding stuff, all that sort of thing. I'm gonna see Jacqueline and Mark's house for the first time. So starting this vlog on Wednesday, I might just film a little bit each day all the way through Sunday might be biting off more than I could chew, but I don't want to, I don't want y'all to miss anything. I need to get packed and we have some clean clothes here. We still don't have a washer dryer. So <laughs> I might literally pack dirty laundry to take home to Texas to wash at mom and dad's. Speaking of washing, I also will need to wash my hair when I'm home. We got to choose between if we're either gonna do our hair or our makeup professionally when we're there. I chose makeup cause I'm gonna do my own hair. Um, so I need to bring all of my hair things in order to style my hair. I'm actually currently on day four hair and it's looking really good. Like I haven't used heat since the day I styled it. This hair's lost, the, this side's lost the curl a bit, but this side has held the curl so well. And I wanted to update y'all cause I finally nailed the routine of how I can get, I normally go realistically five days, sometimes six if I do a slick back bun between hair washing days because I finally, finally, finally found products that my hair actually likes and I need to pack them to take them home to my Texas shower because I want to make sure I have a good hair day for the wedding. You know what I mean? I know for a long time I was taking the vlog along on the journey of trying to find a shampoo and conditioner that my hair actually liked. Like they were either too heavy and my hair would be like greasy and clumpy or they weren't hydrating enough and then my hair would get tangly and i finally finally just went ahead and went the custom route hyper custom shampoo and conditioner made for my hair from pros now i'm getting to work with pros in some videos which is incredible because they are giving me a half off discount code for y'all i'll explain more in a second if you haven't heard of pros look how cute first of all my name is on the bottle i feel like this is the most brilliant way everybody's hair is different everybody lives in different environments has different hair types has different lifestyles so you can go on and you can do a consultation on their website it's basically like a quiz, it takes a couple minutes, but they look at over 85 different factors. Even you'll see my zip code is on the bottle. Where you live affects so much. It's gonna affect your UV, your pollution, your humidity, your the temperature which you live in, which affects your hair. I've already done this today, but I'll show you how this works. The dry shampoo is also incredible. I went on a journey like January of 2020 three trying to find a dry shampoo that was like clean enough for my standards but actually worked and i've loved this one it has this little pump bottle that you pump like that and then juice your hair and that's been really helpful for me not having to wash my hair as often the ingredients are great they're natural they're sustainably sourced it's a certified b corporation if you're interested in completing the consultation and signing up for a subscription they're going to give you half off your first month of subscription so these are the three things that i use all the time there's a lot that i like from them these are probably my go-to essential the shampoo conditioner dry shampoo like this is what i'm packing to take with me to texas i feel confident that i'll be able to do my own hair good enough when everybody else is getting it professionally done. I think me and one other girl chose makeup and everybody else is getting their hair done. So I got stiff competition to look good enough standing next to those girls in photos. <laughs> so thank you again to pros. I'm gonna have that link in the description down below. I'm still hobbling around. <laughs> My goal is to get packed probably in the next hour so that we have time to go to sunset. Our friend Scooter's still here. I think we're all gonna go to sunset together and try to make homemade curry tonight to eat up a lot of chicken that we had thawed. But I just wanna show you really quick, these daffodils are absolutely thriving. If you guys see these at Trader Joe's, they're $2.99 for 20 stems, but they're closed. Like they haven't opened yet whenever they have them there. They're, they're never open. This is what they look like when they open. So if you see the daffodils for $2.99, grab them because look at how pretty. Okay, I just needed, that's a, that's a big PSA that I felt passionate about sharing with you. I'm gonna finish getting packed. I'll probably spare you the rest of tonight. I might get a couple sunset clips if we make it out to the beach in time. If I get packed fast enough, I'll see you guys for a very fun family time. Well, let's go to Texas. Take my jacket off. I'll take another sky. I've landed in San Antonio. I'm at the airport waiting for mom and dad. Um, just pulled over to this bench, pulled over. 
to get a couple of things uploaded while I'm waiting and feeling very productive today, which is great because sometimes plain Wi-Fi can just be the worst and you can get nothing done. But I actually got a lot done on the flight and um, I think they're about 10 minutes away. And it's funny because I left home at 8 a.m. and it wasn't even a long flight, but it's already almost 5 p.m. here and all I've had is a protein bar. So I'm so excited and so ready for dinner, but dinner's not for a couple hours. And I also haven't had an afternoon coffee. So caffeine sounds great. I'm very excited to see Jacqueline and Mark too. <sighs> okay, happy to be here. Oh, also my foot is feeling light years better today. I don't know if it's these shoes I'm wearing that are helping, but I'm feeling very confident that I'll be able to wear heels in the wedding this weekend and be okay. And that my foot is not severely like fractured or anything. So these are good things. We're walking to get a matcha, but we're passing this new dog park. And it's actually right across the street from the apartment my parents used to live in on the river walk. So it's so central, so central San Antonio. And it's a dog park slash brewery. Like, do you see how involved it is? Max would be very overstimulated. <laughs> we're in the coffee shop that we used to always come to because mom and dad lived right there, but they've since um, closed down. Like a new coffee shop has opened up called Commonwealth Coffee House and Bakery. Got a little matcha. Gonna sit around and hang out and talk until Jacqueline and Mark get off work. And then it's dinner time. The the roosters are an interesting choice. Maybe I'm all the mirrors. Maybe they're back. Do you remember when you went through a rooster phase? I know, maybe they're back. And our whole house is covered in roosters. I can't say anything, my whole house is covered in sailboats and ducks, so. <laughs> stayed up so late last night just like hanging out talking I was answering emails Jacqueline was making a puzzle mom was on her phone dad was making popcorn and we just all hung out I think Jacqueline took off work today which I'm really shocked by um, so we're all gonna get to hang mom has turned the downstairs shower into a red light like an infrared sauna she just bought like one panel and then like installed wood on the top and bottom. So Jacqueline and Mark can't use that shower, but I decided instead of showering last night, I was going to wait to do that in the morning and then shower after that this morning because I've heard so many things about infrared saunas for autoimmune, inflammation, like lymphatic drainage, all sorts of things. And so I'm really curious to try it and see if maybe it's a worthwhile long-term health investment for me to try to set up some something similar in my home. You could like buy whole like saunas for super expensive or you can buy like one panel and like do like a shower conversion kit like my mom did. Let me show you this DIY spa setup. Wow, my flare is looking crazy. I should, wish there was a way to conceal it for the wedding, but it's so flaky, so flaky. But here's the setup, are you ready for this? So this is normally the shower. This is like some sort of crazy, heavy duty curtain. Look what it's like in here. Oh yeah, it's getting warm. So there's the panels. It's up to 86 now. It's only been heating up for a few minutes. Um, they put this wood floor on the bottom and wood floor on the ceiling to like really hold in the heat. And it's just one panel like that. So, wow, <laughs> change in color. I'm probably gonna just do it in my tank and shorts, but I think ideally you do it in a swimsuit or just like fully naked. Um, I'm going to do it for 20 minutes and see how I feel. Maybe play a podcast on my phone out here. You're not supposed to bring a phone in there and see if I like it before. It's it's annoying because my hair still doesn't feel dirty. Like I feel like I could go another day just re-dry shampooing it today and then like a bun tomorrow. But obviously I want it to be fresh for the wedding and I like my hair best on day two hair. Like that's where it has a little bit of texture from not being so so clean so i think i'm gonna fully wash and style my hair today so that it's the best for the wedding tomorrow but I'm gonna get in this red light sauna and i'll give you guys an update afterward how's that 
I don't know if the camera can pick up my phone camera because it's so red, but can you see my veins like popping through my legs? I took a video too. Can you see the veins? Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shower. That made me kind of hungry. Is that normal? Oh. We had to run a quick errand in town and we've decided to grab lunch at my favorite spot because I feel like I've said this in a vlog before, Peggy's on the green is the chef's daughter celiac or the owner's daughter celiac? I think it's, it's the owner's daughter. The owner's daughter. Yeah. And so they have like a separate fryer. They can do so many fried things like chicken fingers. They got like a fried oyster po' boy. They got gluten-free bread. They got gluten-free buns. Definitely not like a healthy fresh meal, but like Southern comfort food is so hard for a celiac person to get safely gluten-free. And ooh, I'm gonna get some fried food. It's inside the Ye Kindle Inn, which is historic from like the 1800s, right? I think so. Actually, here's the yeah. placard. It's out of year 1859. It was a home, and now it's like a little cute little hotel. That's a huge home. That is a huge home. That's <laughs> All of this is gluten-free. I got this last time with Anna and Kaylee, so it's a, it's a Cuban sandwich. Dad's is gluten-free as well, just for fun. Mom's is as well. This is a fried flounder. And Jacqueline got gluten. At a girl. Look at that chicken pot pie with the biscuit over it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Cheers to coffee. Cheers. There we go. There we go. We're quickly home for a bit. Um, we're actually spending the night at an Airbnb with the bride tonight, so I'm gonna need to pack up a separate overnight bag. But before, oh my gosh, is that the asparagus? Uh, before we yeah. do that, mom wanted to show me her garden because she has some new things. Are, is, are those tall things the asparagus? Yes. Show yes. me. So let me show you. So some of them, you can't you can't pick asparagus, I think, till the stalk gets the, the thickness that you want, but okay. like this one. And look, like this one's perfect and you just snap it at the bottom. Just, you simply just, <laughs> it's not snapping. <laughs> but look, <gasps> that's a whole asparagus. Yeah. Actually, I'm so impressed. She's been eating this for dinner. <laughs> Coming out. Yes, I have. <laughs> harvesting your dinner. <gasps> that's so big. I know. Why are they so small at the store? Now I'm like, they grow this big. <laughs> <gasps> well, I, I picked some of them off already, so I that's didn't know probably they grew under like a cabbagey thing like yeah. that. Uh -huh. This is basically like a huge brussel up here. Right. Look at that! Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. And the, yeah, they grow underneath. Oh, but I've see. actually picked a bunch of them off and, and eaten them. just finished knocking out enough work to feel like I can log off for the weekend. I definitely am not fully on top of things, but my flight home Sunday night, hoping to finish catching up before Monday morning. And I think we're about to head out. We're gonna swing by my grandma's house on the way there because I'm helping do her makeup for the wedding and she wanted to do a trial run. So I'm gonna bring all my makeup stuff. Jacqueline and I are gonna go to Oma and Opa's house, do a little trial run of makeup. Then we have the rehearsal, the rehearsal dinner, spending the night there at the Airbnb and tomorrow's wedding day. I don't anticipate to get much filming at all because um, it's about Alice. I wanna make sure to get all of her Polaroids. I've packed um, I actually don't think that this made the final cut of the baby shower vlog, but I made Sarah a um, album of Polaroid pictures and she loved it and I bought the same album to do for Alice's wedding. So I'm going to mostly be focusing on, you know, getting Polaroid pictures for Alice and then I'll get some clips on my phone. We'll see what we get the next couple days, but I will continue this vlog all the way through Sunday to go see Jacqueline and Mark's new house that they bought. I was telling Jacqueline, yeah, I need to vlog some today, um, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, just save the vlog for Sunday. We'll do a house tour. I was like, really? You'd want to do that? And she's like, yeah. She's so cute that she's so game to share, share things with y'all too. So we'll do that. And then I actually might have a shoot, a photo shoot for the Washington Post because they're doing an article on me, which is crazy. That might be Sunday as well. They might send an Austin photographer to get the pictures done because they're running the article on March 20th. And I won't even really be home until like a day or two before the article goes live. So they need the pictures kind of soon. So I was like, I'll be flying out of Austin Sunday night if you want to coordinate something Sunday night. Anyways, that was a long ramble of what the next couple days look like, but I need to finish packing up my stuff and we're heading on out and we're 
queuing, queuing wedding stuff. It's time to turn off work brain. Turn on bridesmaid brain. Keep on coming on. Knocking at my door. Everything before told me nothing to me now. Nothing to me now. <laughs> and Tony just near clips of us. Keep on running on. Just finished getting my makeup done. Did my own little just pony because it's raining on and off today. But look at how cute this is. It's a little mimosa bar that they set up and they found champagne that says Alice which is her name. That's just like the brand of the champagne. So that's so cute. Last night there was a wine that was Mikel something, Michelle, I'm sure. But we're getting close. We're getting closer. Grandma's gonna be here soon. Oh, mom gonna do her makeup. Breakfast tacos are almost all gone. And the suite is so cute. 30, 1.30. So getting close. Ceremony's in four hours. It's like an evening ceremony. And weather is holding off, which is great. No rain, not at the moment. What I do not need don't mean nothing to me now. Nothing to me now. Nothing to me now. Hello, good morning. It's the day after the wedding. We all slept in and it's a rainy day here. It's been cozy. We made breakfast together. I, um, mom was like, I bought all these bananas and nobody's eating anything. So we ended up making um, a Banana Foster's French toast. We use gluten-free bread for mine and mom's and Ooh. You know when you eat like a really like sugary breakfast and you're tired and the rain. I'm feeling tired, but I'm gonna do her sauna one more time before showering and packing up for the day. Um, I had a brief moment of, so I'm driving back with Jacqueline and Mark to Austin because I really wanna see their house. And then I have a late flight out of Austin and I land really late in San Diego. I have such a packed work day tomorrow. I have to film like a million things, not for YouTube, but for other jobs that I've taken on and then Jordi has planned me a birthday party in the evening. I've had nothing to do with it, but it's just gonna be like, I land at like midnight, wake up, film probably like eight plus hours of filming and then have the birthday party. So I was like, maybe I just fly out of San Antonio earlier and there's a direct flight at four. I was grappling, I would land at five um, San Diego time. I was grappling with what to do, but I've decided family time is too precious to miss out on it. I don't know what I'm gonna see Jacqueline and Mark next and I'd love to see their house. So I'm sticking with my original plan. I hope I don't regret packing as much into this month, but I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew March was gonna be like packed. And then April, I got nothing. Disgusting story. I had brought home the wedding bouquets, the bridesmaids bouquets, and mom put them in like a glass of water. And then like this morning divided them all up between like little bud vases to have around the house. And I was like, I'm so thirsty. Is this anybody's cup? I think this is my cup. And she's like, it's not my cup. It's probably your cup. I took two huge sips of it before I realized the water tasted disgusting. I realized it was the flower water. <laughs> flowers were sitting in overnight and if it was just flowers, it'd be fine. But we were all swapping bouquets. So many people were touching it. We'd lay them on the ground between pictures. Like, <clears throat> I don't want to know what bacteria I just consumed. It's probably not good. <laughs> This we just got to their house and I haven't seen anything yet ah! except for this room and it's so beautiful. Okay, show us. This show us your house. our living room. It's really massive. It's so big. But it's, yes. Look at the um, fireplace. Look at that proud owner of the fireplace. Wait for 
fires in here. Re- yeah. And the built ins yes. are so nice. Our idea is to resurface this with like some sort of like more washed limestone. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. This is a kitchen. It's very, um, I love the paint color. Good very job. 70s. That was Jacqueline. <laughs> yep. Mark installed that dishwasher. Hey, good job. That's a nice dishwasher. Fist try. Yeah. And then we just got this fridge that we're very proud of. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I installed the microwave too. So. Where's the microwave? Plug that in. Oh. I did. <laughs> Good job again. <laughs> and the whole dining nook is so nice. Yeah. Our guest bed and office are very unfinished. We just ordered a um, bed frame. A bed frame. Yeah. Her. So right now the mattress. Look at on the these built-ins. So first I guess there's the and we also don't have a shower curtain yet. Yeah, so. Ooh. This is the guest so bed. This is yeah. There's some built-ins. Yeah. This is nice. I love. I love that. Thank you. Where'd you get that? That was just home goods for like 10 bucks. Wow. I wish it was like a best surprise to him, our friend. Oh, we have a rat problem in our attic. Okay. So we put a rat in our, in your attic. (laughs) (laughs) Um, This is the main, I guess, bed. Wow. I love that we have matching desks. I know, except I think it's too big for this, especially once we get a. Mine is actually a little bit bigger. But you don't have a guest bed, right? In there. Well, but I, it's hard to pull out the couch. We have a pull out mm. couch, so I, I eventually downsize as well, but yeah. it looks very cool. This is our office space. It's very what? unfinished too. But... So you each have your own workspace. Yeah. Which oh is my nice. gosh, that closet is huge. Yeah. Why is that closet so big? So we can put stuff in there. Wow. It has its own light. It's kind of like Whoa. our extra storage, which is nice. Like our game closet Whoa. and stuff. Whoa. This is our bedroom. Why is it so yeah, big? It's big. <laughs> Why is it so big? What are you gonna do with I this don't, space? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe like um, like a bench at least for the bed. Yeah, but you could do a really... whole seating area of like chairs and like a little coffee table and like a freaking TV. Yeah, you could do like a whole I'm second bed in here. here. I might need your help. And then this is the bathroom. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Not huge, but. No, but it's so nice. Two sinks. sinks. Mm -hmm. This is so beautiful. And then it just makes a big circle, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, dude. Wait, do you remember when mom and dad were building the house and we stayed in that little house that had this exact layout and you and I would just like literally run laps before bedtime? Continuously. You don't remember that? The rock house we called it? Right across from the park in downtown Bernie? I think we should time you. Touching the, t- or touching the fireplace corners and touching the fireplace corners. Wait, wait. Okay. Here we go, wait. I'll time you. Alright, stop. I'm nervous. Watch. On your mark. Get set. Go. Ah! this vlog ended up being a week in my life because it was literally five whole days of filming but i'm about to upload all my footage on jacqueline's wi-fi before i go to the airport fly home land at midnight and then tomorrow starting a birthday vlog and then we're going to nashville and then we're going to charleston and then we're going to new york so lots of um lots of big fun vlogs coming up soon but thanks for spending a week for me and with me in texas i also want to say thanks again to pros for sponsoring this video. I um, have so much hairspray left in my hair from the wedding yesterday, but I feel like I feel like I really pulled off doing my own hair. So I'm gonna have the link in the description if you wanted to try the consultation online and then get half off your first month. I think that's all I gotta say. Jacqueline, you got anything to say? Uh, nope. 
Nothing from Jacqueline except bye. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye.